the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 90, 1 Samuel 8 to 10. A kingdom of priests versus monarchical system. God chose and appointed Saul as the first king of Israel, who gave up on the system of priesthood that was best for them and insisted on a monarchy. First point Why did Moses, Joshua, Gideon, and Samuel? decide not to become kings? The answer to this was because they wanted to become holy citizens in a kingdom of priests. Moses, Joshua, Gideon, and Samuel were perfectly suited to become kings in terms of their nobility and skills, but they all denied to become king. Each of them knew that it was much better to live as holy citizens in a kingdom of priests. When Dathan and Abiram claimed that Moses was scheming to become king, Moses prayed to God not to receive their offering. Joshua proclaimed that he and his household would only serve the Lord. Gideon also proclaimed that neither he nor his sons would rise as king over the Israelites. Samuel likewise gave the same message, As for me, far be it from me, that I should sin against the Lord by failing to pray for you, and I will teach you the way that is good and right. But be sure to fear the Lord and serve him faithfully with all your heart. Consider what great things he has done for you. Second point. The reason the Israelites requested a king was for two surface level reasons and two real reasons. The Israelites requested a king to Samuel for two surface level reasons. The first was because Samuel had grown old. The second was because Samuel's sons were highly inadequate. The people also had two real reasons. The first real reason was because the people did not believe in God. The second real reason was because the Israel people envied other nations who had a monarchy system. They thought that having a king would ensure their protection. Third point. Monarchy was whereby the people were made into the king's slaves. When the people of Israel requested a king, Samuel was extremely sad and disheartened. He knew that the people had rejected the blessings of living as holy citizens in a kingdom of priests. God told Samuel to tell the people about the two things they were to know if they started a monarchy. The first was that they would ultimately become slaves for the monarch. The second was that when the people came to God to ask for help because of the king, it would already be right. Despite these warnings, Israel acted like Carrie's children and strongly requested a king. So God told Samuel to do as they requested, and so began the 500 years of monarchy. Fourth point, Saul in his 40s had four good qualities. Although God was disappointed in the people for wanting a king, God nevertheless did his best to select the best leader for them. This was none other than Saul. Saul was in his early 40s when God selected him, and he had four qualities that made him appearing to God. The first was that he was a good-looking man who cared deeply for his parents. The second was that he was someone who knew the right thing to say. 
The third was his ability to understand what was going on in society. Even when he was selected as king, he did not immediately think of himself as king, and instead went back to his hometown and went about with his everyday life. The fourth was his courage and his good decision-making skills. Both skills so light when the instance of the Jabesh Gilead occurred. God looked on these qualities highly and so selected him as the first king of Israel. Saul was from the tribe of Benjamin and in the early days, this helped reset the foundation of the twelve tribes of Israel. Fifth point, Samuel left a book in which he compared a kingdom of priests to a monarchy. Before the monarchy began, Samuel recorded the difference between a kingdom of priests and a monarchy and wrote it down in his book. Samuel explained to the people the rights and duties of kingship. He wrote them down on a scroll and deposited it before the Lord. Then Samuel dismissed the people to go to their own homes. As such, next to follow the Pentateuch was the 500 years of monarchy. The first king was Saul from the tribe of Benjamin. I am so excited that you have in your hands now and on your phones the Tong Doc Bible app. And let me tell you why. Very few people, just a handful of people in the world understand the way Dr. Zhou does, the way that this is one story from Genesis to Revelation, one story. And what does it mean for us to daily live that story as our life story? And he has found a way to do this. We need daily marinating of our mind and the soaking of our spirit in, in the Word of God. And that's why a, a, a Tong Doc Bible is so important. The scriptures, the story, Genesis to Revelation, is the daily mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit of God into humans to make us truly who God made us to be. And that's why this app is so important. This app shows you how to do mouth, that God, enables God to do mouth to mouth resuscitation on you every day of your life, 365 days a year. I'm so glad you have it. You will feel that healing that comes from mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit on you as you use this app.